with me out Everyone forgot my name But you never gave up on me Even when I was ashamed I was always in the plan I've always been in your hand I've never been in a fight That you couldn't win triumphant you are the hero my back was against the road they thought i would throw in the towel even i gave up hope but i felt your power somehow That's called Hero by As One. Real gospel is the place where God gets the glory and artists tell their stories. I'm joined on Real Gospel by the new dynamic duo. And um, for those who listen to my program, when I say dynamic duo, normally, uh, you know, you think of Batman and Robin but uh, or Mary, Mary. But, but, but As One is the new dynamic duo. And so uh, welcome to Real Gospel, ladies. Thank you. Mm-hmm. So, Lisa and Sister Teresa. <laughs> now, that, but that, that's what you said right now. Now, now. now, I went to Catholic school, and believe it or not, uh, one of my teachers' name was Sister Teresa. <laughs> well, you know what? My mom was raised Catholic, and that's why she named me Teresa. Really? So, were you, were you, were you raised Catholic as well? No, I was raised United Methodist, and it's okay. funny. I asked my mom. I said, "If you were Catholic, why are we Methodist?" And my, she said, "My dad was Baptist, and she was Catholic, and they wanted to pick something that felt like it was in the middle." Hey, <laughs> man, that's what I'm talking about. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among the women. But you know, this is not that. But anyway, um, so um, and I can I can have fun with you too, Lisa, Lisa, Lisa. 
coat jam. Yeah, that's Come right. on. Yeah. <laughs> see, see, see. I've heard that before. I, have you? Oh, you, you heard the jokes, yes, huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, anyway, um, I'm loving the song uh, Hero, and you all uh, worked with Lamar Campbell? Yeah. yeah. How'd that happen? Mm-hmm. Yeah, give us the backdrop on that. How'd that happen? Well, our producer, and uh, he, he was... Well, we were looking for a choir to go on it. He suggested, you know, that a choir would be really powerful on it. And he said, I got the perfect choir, I got the perfect person. And uh, he suggested Lamar Campbell, and we were like, yes. And so, I mean, when we heard it for the first time in the studio, we were full of It was so powerful. Mm, 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 mm. And you know, uh, yeah, and Lamar is a friend of Real Gospel. You know, this program, he's been on a few times. And um, great guy, just a great guy oh, yeah. who loves the Lord. Yeah. And, you know, um, a family-oriented guy, just loves yeah. music, loves. So I'm not surprised. Um, yeah. So tell me a little bit about you two, I guess, take turns and sort of give us the backdrop on, on where you're from and, and how you got involved in music and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So the listeners get an a understanding of, of just who you all are. Okay, this is Teresa. Um, I went to Nashville for a conference that the GMA puts on called Immerse. And when I went to the conference, um, our now manager, Paul Wright, he said, I want you to come and and do a writing session with one of my artists that's working on a, a solo project. And I met Lisa, and we met just to write one song. And we wrote the one song, and afterwards we sang it for him. And he's standing there with his mouth wide open, and we're like, what's wrong? And he said, oh, my God, not only the song, but the way you guys sing together. He said, you sing like you've been singing together for a very long time. And we're like, really? And as we're just standing there, his mouth is wide open, and his wheels are spinning. And he said, you guys sing like a group. He said, not only a group, oh, my God, you would be the first black and white group. He's like, yeah, you're the first black and white group. Oh, my God, his wheels are spinning. And fast forward two weeks, two weeks after that, we were signed as the first ever black and white duo in gospel music. He was spot on. It was like a divine <laughs> appointment. We didn't try. We weren't getting together to form a group. It just kind of happened. Now, yeah, see. it was It was definitely a God thing. I mean, just like Teresa said, we just opened our mouths and started singing and sang together well, the nuances of our voices and, and the harmony and everything. Hey, and even yeah. writing. Just was, just came so easy, and still to this day is, is very easy for us. Amen. So no, it was a God thing. Yeah, yeah. So so where are you both from originally? Oh, Cleveland, Ohio. So uh, the Central Valley, California. Okay, okay. And you know, it's strange that you said that you were here in Nashville. That's where I am right now. That's where this uh, program broadcasts from, from the campus of uh, Historic Fisk University at the studios of Jazzy eighty eight WFSK. Um, yeah. Have you ever been by either, either of you? Have you ever been to Fisk University? We've been by, but we've never um, had a, an event there or anything yet. Ah, well, I have yeah, a feeling yeah. that you all will be invited to um, a multiplicity of activities in this city. So the next time you're in the city, come on by and check us out. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> so, yeah. So let's talk about Hero. And um, we, we understand. So talk about the inspiration for the song and who it's directed at. Oh wow! At least I'll tell you about the insp- I'll tell them about the inspiration, and you tell them who it's directed. <laughs> Hero, um, all of the songs that we write first, I want to tell you that we write together, and it's such a. I would say a God-ordained thing. I always, if I have an idea, Lisa has the other side. Or if she has an idea, I have the finisher of what she started. And when we got together to finish this one, I think I just had the, the really beginning part. Um, just the everyone counted me out, everyone forgot my name. And then Lisa came in with the rest. And when we got to the chorus, um, it just this is one of those songs that writes itself. If you're out there and you're a songwriter, you know, there's some songs that you have to really sit and work for but there are some that i believe are easy because god is trying to give it to you he's like trying to write it through you and this is one of those it was really easy um and and when we got to the chorus we we were home free from there i think the melody kind of just came out the words kind of came out yes 
and it is directed at God. And we're saying in the song that God is our ultimate hero. He's the ultimate champion. He did what nobody else could do. And written kind of, you know, written from, from the perspective of a boxer in a ring. And it looks like they're going down for the final count. And, it, it, you know, everybody's against them. And, and, you know, they're the underdog. And the song is just about triumph and victory and how God is on our side. And it doesn't matter, you know, what you're going through and what other people are saying or thinking. Because if God's on your side, then, it, you know, it doesn't matter who's against you because you, you've already won. So he's our ultimate hero, and that's what it's about. Mm, mm, mm. So um, I was not going to be the first to bring up um, the fact that one of you are black and one of you are white, but but since you did, um, what yeah. has been the reaction? Yeah, we're, yeah we're when you go that. out, <laughs> huh? Yeah, what's been I the said, reaction? Yes, we're all about that. I mean, that's that's our platform. I use mean, it. We're just yeah, use very, it. Very, very much for racial <laughs> u- unity and harmony. And equality, yeah, you know, yeah. especially in this day and age when there's a lot of the racial it's tension. Going on. Yeah. Yeah. You know, um, I think our, yeah. our main message when we show up somewhere. I'm sorry, X. Um, our, our message is just that we serve the same God. At the end of the day, she is white. I am black. Um, mm-hmm. All the denominations, you know, Sunday is the most probably segregated time mm-hmm. in the world because mm-hmm. everybody is so separate. But our message is that we serve the same God. He loves her people just like he loves my people. He extends her grace just like he extends me grace. And that's just our message. We should be we should be worshiping the same God. And if we if we really thought about that, we worship the same God. I think we would behave differently sometimes. The yeah. times when we mean, the times when we don't consider others. You know, love is the greatest thing. The times when we don't love, we have to remember that we serve the same God. <laughs> That's right. I'm he gonna... created us all. So if you're putting down one race, you're really putting down his creation. I'm gonna... So, I mean, people don't think about that. And, and he loves us all. And we really are all of one race, and that's the human race, you know, because God created us all. So that's how, yeah. that's how we feel about it. Let me pull a <laughs> let me pull a Kerr Franklin out of my bag. Preach, preach okay. up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, uh, yeah, I like that. Um, but you know, um, friends of mine in the gospel industry, such as Amy Rushes and Vicky Yoey, who've been on the program mm-hmm. before, it's no, this is not. New. I mean, it's new that you two are, are, are um, a group, so to speak. But right. I, I, I love this because you two are able to um, go to places together and minister to God's people, where people just stick to their comfort zone in other words um there are many places that will probably love to have a uh quote unquote sort of urban looking gospel artist to come minister but they might not really know any because we we sort of we, we're used to what we're used to but when mm-hmm. we have you two as one coming along you all not only can can um enter into places where regular folk can't go to because of their comfort mm-hmm. zone, but you can also minister and speak to the hearts and minds because what a wonderful, wonderful um, message it would be uh, if if you before a, a all white audience and then you have an opportunity to speak to the the people of God about the segregated uh, eleven right. o'clock so to speak on Sundays and then go before right. our, our black congregation and say you know what eleven o'clock is just too too segregated we have to come together so this is just just God is at work here. Oh, God bless you, too. <laughs> oh, praise yeah. God. Yeah. That's what we're hoping for anyway, but we do realize that we're so new and so different, some people will be afraid to like us. Absolutely. Some will be afraid to call us, and some, even some radio stations, you know, they're still afraid to play us. They, they're just afraid. We're, we're new. We're the first. That's even okay. in the industry, there's really, you know, there are people <laughs> that are not for it because, like Teresa is saying, it's new. People are afraid of things that are outside of their comfort zone. People are afraid of things that are new. But we're not afraid. We're trailblazers. God created us all unique. So why should we try to be, you know, like everybody else? We use the gifts God's given us. She brings her differences. I bring my differences. And we come together to make a difference. Amen. I've got something. I've got something that that can um, kick down those doors as well. First of all, you you all are your, your music is played and welcome here at this station Praise and on this <laughs> on this real gospel Thank program. You. You're welcome. And so as it means a lot. Yeah. And as 
the record sales begin to pick up and as your name becomes synonymous in different markets around the world then the people will follow the stations will follow you all are trailblazers mm-hmm. and I've got to also remind the listeners especially those who are cringing uh, who don't who are listening to this and, and and other program directors who are listening and you know you should add their music remember Jesus was a trailblazer Jesus was mm-hmm. new at what he was doing and so mm-hmm. he had the day that's right so uh yeah you ladies are so wonderful so this cd project what can we expect from this project Mm, songs about unity songs about love songs about god being all our ultimate heroes songs about uh prayer uh teresa want to add anything yeah i would say i have a friend who asked me recently what's the music like is it more gospel is it more ccm and i would honestly say i couldn't think of a category to put it in i would say it's right in the middle it's right down the line it is there are some gospel influences of course Mm -hmm. there are some ccm some contemporary christian influences of course i don't i don't think of the category i can put us close to i would just say it's it's some good um it's some good christian music Right. And it's all live it's music. It's not all live. live. Yeah, there's, there's, no, there's, no, some, there's no tracks. Right. We played all there's the instruments heavily, live. We sang everything live. Wow. Right. There's some heavily orchestrated parts, and there's also some screaming, you know, electric guitar and some amazing drums. And it's just, there's not a category like it, so it's you can't describe it. It's just... Real music for real people. That's how. That's I think how I, I think one of my hopes is just that people try it. You know what I mean? Even the people that hear us talking and they hear us trying to describe it. I just want people to try it. That's my that's my main hope. Just give it a try before you say, Oh, that's not I don't like that or oh that's not this or that. I just want people to give it a try. Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. You know what? And I look forward to seeing you all at the Stellar Awards on next year because I have a feeling yes. I just feel it in my spirit that you all are gonna be tremendous, tremendous, tremendous oh, in the gospel oh, music thank industry. Thank you. You are so welcome. Thank you. Before I let you guys pray, let me give a quick prayer over your career, over your lives. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I ask you to bless these two dynamic sisters who are doing kingdom work for you, Heavenly Father. Continue to bless Sister Lisa. Continue to bless Sister Teresa. Continue to bless their finances, bless their career as they continue to do kingdom work, Heavenly Father. Allow no weapon to form against them to prosper, Heavenly Father. Or should I say, do not allow any weapon to form against them to prosper, Heavenly Father. Continue to bless their families and continue to allow their careers to just reach heights unmanaged, un, un, unimaginable to the average person. These and all blessings we ask in your son Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. How Thank can you the, you're welcome. How can the listeners find out more about you and your music? How can they get a hold of you all? They can find us on our website at www.asoneofficial.com. And as one is one word, always. And they can find us on other social media, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. It's As One Music. So make sure you're not putting a space between As One. It's As One Music. All one word. Amen, amen, amen. Ladies, thank you so much for taking the time out of your schedules to uh, just chat with me. And um, welcome, you are welcome back here anytime. Your music will stay in rotation. And I'm just going to sit back and just watch God do what God does. Thank you so, <laughs> thank you so much. much. You are awesome. If you miss any parts of this interview, go to my Facebook page, Real Gospel with the X Man, or my Twitter, Real Gospel X Man. There's a link that'll take you to my website where you'll find an icon. Click the Listen Here button and check out this interview. Also, please remember that the As One CD project releases on Tuesday, June 23rd. We appreciate you more than, than you know. Thank you for your support.